All right, so I've tried the Coke with coffee. The last one to try was the dark blend Coca-Cola with coffee. And I'm curious on how to make it myself. So I'm gonna start with the simplest approach. And that is I'm gonna go ahead and use instant coffee and put it in here and then put Coke in it with some ice and see what it tastes like. So that's gonna be my first attempt and then we'll go from there. Of course, this will have all the sugar of a Coke. So essentially, it's just no better than drinking a Coke, but it'll have some coffee flavor in there. But this is test number one. Okay, use the scissors, cut open the package. It's Folgers Instant Coffee, which I did not mind. Now, I do know that on this can right here, if you read the ingredients, it does say coffee powder right after caramel syrup. So they are in fact using also instant coffee. So it's not unreasonable for this to work. I used hot water, mix the coffee in, and then throw some ice in there to make it just a little bit um, cooler. And of course the Coke is cold too. Now I'm gonna attempt to pour this in. I expect it to maybe foam up. I'm not sure. It's not doing too bad. And I'm getting that same kind of foam, thick foam that was in the um, the can. So we're gonna have to let that go down just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and try the first sip and I'll get a lot of foam, but I'm gonna try it. Actually, I'm gonna stop the video and wait for the foam to drop down. Coca-Cola to it. It's kind of amazing how much that foam is pretty thick stuff. And that was the same way in the can. So let's go ahead and try our first drink. That tastes very close to this form right here. Um, that's the coffee with dark. I would probably say that Coca-Cola used a little better quality of coffee powder. It's not that the Folgers is really bad. I was surprised how well it tasted. It tastes much better when you throw sugar and cream in it. But you can taste a little bit rougher coffee than maybe what's in here. This is more subtle, just as strong, but more subtle. So, um, I would say this works. I'm not sure how I could brew the coffee and then throw the Coke in there without watering down the Coke. So you almost have to use a full strength Coke. It's not bad. It gives you, the sugar in the Coke kind of helps moderate the coffee a little bit. It's not bad. This would be called coffee black or Coke black if you ordered it that way. And I guess there is places you can order it. So success with the first try of coffee with just Coke. I think now what I'm going to do is try to do one where the I cut down the sugar just a little bit by using a little bit of diet Coke in there. And it'll cut the sugar in part. Okay, so this is Coca-Cola Zero, which I've actually never tried before. I put a little bit in a glass here. And you can see that when I added it to the coke that existed with the coffee in it, it also foamed back up again. So the nature of the coffee and the coke really foams, but this will be a first try of just Coke Zero to see what it tastes like. And I'm traditionally not a fan of artificial sugars. If I drink too much or I consume too much artificial sugars, I do get headaches, but I'm gonna limit this how much I'm gonna have. Second try. Okay, I'm surprised it's not that bad. 
I do get that weird feeling in the back of my throat when you're having that, the aftertaste, but this is not horrible compared to what I remember, the aftertaste of being just regular Diet Coke. So I can see why they prefer the Zero. It just must be a little bit better mix of products in there. Um, it has aspartame and caffeine. Caffeine is 34. I guess that's the same as a Coke. I was, of course, this is not Diet Coke. I heard Diet Coke was higher. This is Coke Zero. Um, I wonder if aspartame tastes better than sucralose. You see where it says phenylicturnix, turnix, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that, contains phenylalanine which is an amino acid, I believe. And that amino acid, um, I have a hard time breaking that down. So if I get too much of it, it um, causes issues. Uh, some people in my family have the same issue also. So it's, they just have to be careful. Um, and since I don't traditionally drink a lot, one time is not gonna hurt me. Look out the way that foam is uh, slowly evaporating in clumps. So let's try this one more time. That's not too bad. Um, I do drink uh, different alternative Cokes with Stevia in it, which I like better. And Coca-Cola used to have one that had Stevia, but they stopped making it because they said, people would just go ahead and drink this. I don't think they understand how some people cannot have artificial sugars. They just don't care. So they stopped making the one with Stevia, which I liked a lot. So let's try this now, which is Coke and Coke Zero and coffee. Let's see how this tastes. And it's foaming back up again. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, since it's about a half and half mix, this is normally 200, but I only put a half a thing in. So it would be 100. And then this mix right here with that would make it about 50 calories. So 50 uh, sugar calories is not horrible um, to try. So I can see myself mixing half and half and seeing how it affects me. Let's put this in here. I still think this is probably a little better probably because they're using a higher quality of coffee. Um, I've just explored um, instant coffee a little bit. So I'd say it's a win. If you want to cut down the sugar, instead of using all Coke, you can put in some uh, Coke Zero. And uh, with the coffee in there, it kind of covers up that aftertaste a little bit. And you would get something very similar to that, much cheaper. This is $1.86 a can. And that, this right here is, I don't know, two, three fifty for six of them. So if you was to do 40 cents, 50, 60 cents, about 60 cents a bottle. And you do half of a bottle, and this is a dollar eight for this. And of course you can buy different bulk levels. So you're definitely drinking this at half the price, a little bit better than half the price. Let me try it again. All right, so you can make this at home, a little bit of effort, but this still wins.